So this video is an attempt to serve as a humble tribute to my friend Mark Mosley. Some of you may have known him as Mark Mixjock or Mark Mixjock Mosley. If you're back in Boston, maybe you knew him as Flash. This has been something I've been dreading doing for days. We lost him late last week. And the thing is, is that I can't do much of anything else until I do this. It's important to me that I do it, but I didn't want to do it, if that makes any sense to you. Now, I need to tell you a little bit about my situation and, and my relationship that I had with Mark. If you know anything about me, I've produced thousands of videos on YouTube since 2007 for DJs, and I do a lot of marketing for the DJ industry. I've got a lot of followers on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and I mean, there's, there's thousands of people. And I talk to these people every day. They send me messages. They ask for my help. I do my best to help them. Very few people I actually click with. Like, I really connect with them. And that's why losing a guy like Mark is such a big deal to me. Because Mark and I clicked. Mark and I had things to talk about. Now, I had a stroke about four years ago, and when this happened to me, I lost some things. I lost some recollections of conversations that I had, or even people that I knew, or what their names were, or things that I've done in the past. And I haven't really been public about this, but I did lose some things. I've, you know, I functioned fine, but I don't remember a lot of stuff. But I remember after I had my stroke, Mark was there. And, and one thing Mark always was, uh, was positive and supportive of absolutely anything that I had going on. Be it a, a video I was doing on a product or maybe a post I made about something I was struggling with. Mark was positive about it. He put a positive spin on it. He was supportive. Always, always, always. So, you know, over time, I start talking to this guy. And then I'll, every once in a while, I'll post a tune that I think is cool, you know, something funky. And then Mark comes along, and he one-ups me. He posts something even cooler than that, you know, underneath it in the comment section. And it was not unusual for Mark and I to go 150, 200 posts deep on funky tunes. It's almost like we're programming a set together. I can't do that with everybody. Not everybody loves music like Mark does. A lot of DJs out there, they love gear, they, they love the art of mixing, but when it really comes to just the love of music, Mark was that guy, and, and to meet a person like that, it, to me, is fascinating. I love talking to those people who just love music and understand music like Mark does. And then you get to know this beautiful person who's just, just the kindest, kindest person you could ever have the pleasure of knowing. And then you learn about him, and you learn about his family. You learn about his mother, his mother, Ma Dukes, who he was just his life. His mother, his brother, and his sister-in-law were his life. And he asks about my family because he didn't really know his dad, so he wants to know about my dad and what my relationship with my dad's like. And he sees pictures of my dad, and he thinks, my dad looks like such a cool guy, and... and uh, I tell him about my dad, and I tell him about the rest of my family, and we really get to know each other, and we really bond with that. And, you know, I can turn this computer on in the morning when I get up. It's kind of a ritual. Whenever I get up, I turn the computer on just to see what's going on. Sometimes DJs have questions for me. Uh, I want to check posts, see what's going on. And, you know, I could always count on a positive thing from Mark. Always, every day, I could see either a post from Mark, something cool, talking about his Spin Brothers, talking about a tune that's on his iPod for his workout, because he was really working hard to get healthy this last year. Big guy, was losing that weight, man. I called him the incredible shrinking DJ, because he was doing a fantastic job. He was taking care of himself. He was on his way up, you know? And I'm really going to miss seeing him there every day. I, nothing, nothing can substitute for it. And I know that. And I, I just want to say to his family, thank you. Thank you for Mark. Thank you, Ma Dukes, for raising such a beautiful human being. And, and thank you for that gift. 
I, uh, I didn't get to meet him in person. And that doesn't mean anything to me, though, because we talked a lot. My friend Jay Brennan talked to him a lot as well. I don't know what they talked about. Mark was pretty cool about that. He didn't tell other people what other people were saying. He, he kept things pretty much on the, you know, down low. He's, you know, whatever that guy said, we're not going to hear about it. He wasn't gossipy like that. So I don't know what they talked about, but I know what we talked about. We talked about music. We talked about family. We talked about health. We talked about cars. He bought a van recently, and we were going back and forth about that. I was trying to talk him into a Tahoe. I was trying to talk him out of that van, but he met the guy who owned the van. He trusted him. He liked the van. He bought it. Uh, we talked about a lot of things, you know. But man, I, I just love the guy, and we we were, we skyped together a few times. We talked on the phone. We were chatting all, all every day. We we had some kind of communication, you know, on a weekly basis, if not a daily basis. And, and I'm really gonna miss miss that so much. And um, he was a real true friend. And if you're seeing this video on my Facebook page, below in the comment section, what I would like to do is a musical tribute to Mark. If you knew Mark or anything about him. Post funky tune, you knew Mark. He liked everything from Phil Collins to Funkadelic to you name it. He was all over the board. He wasn't just one genre. He loved all music, uh, but he did hate the Black Eyed Peas. So don't post any of that. He hated them. But anyway, post a funky tune, man. That's that's the best tribute that I can think of to give to this man. And it, it's it may not be much, but he would have loved it. So again, thank you, my Dukes, for raising a beautiful boy. Thank you uh, for me, because he was a friend. Jay and I tried so hard to get him out to one of the shows. I got him passes one year to Expo. He was talking about coming to Vegas this year. We are going to finally uh, gonna get to put our arms around this, this dude that, that we just loved already, you know, like a brother. But uh, it don't matter, man. Right here, I, I got him right here, and I got him right here, and I'll always carry him there. I promise that. So hopefully now uh, I can move on and get some, some other video shot, but... But, um, yeah, I, I had to say something. So, um, if you knew Mark, leave a comment. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. And, uh, guys, take care of yourself.